What's up everybody? Well today I'm here to show you the first Eureka that is part of my vacuum collection. What I have here is a Eureka the Boss Smart Vac. I wanted this vacuum for a number of reasons. One, I actually had a Eureka the Boss Smart Vac. Well, my parents did actually. When I was in junior high through high school, and that was the later turquoise colored version. And that was later donated to, to my family's river house up in San Marcos. And they put that thing through quite a bit of use. And I do have a video of that va specific vacuum, which I will link in the description box of this video. But what made me get this one is is a little bit different. I, I did like the turquoise colored, the Boss Smart Vac that, that, that my family used to have, but I, I did wonder what it was like to have a different colored one, like this maroon, almost burgundy colored one. I, I, I would have liked to get the blue version of this, but I'm fine with having a, this one either way. They're, they're basically the same vacuum it's just different color schemes. And this is the older version of the turquoise version that my parents had. And the reason why I know it's a different version is because this one has the translucent cover for the post filter. The It's before they made the non-marring wheels. And also it's before they flipped around the power switch. But other than that, it's basically the exact same vacuum before Eureka started going all cheap. The newest model I think you can get of this vacuum was called the Air Extreme. And that one was just getting cheaper and cheaper because it had no headlight. The, the suction tubes were actually gold to basically promote Eureka's airspeed technology, which, speak of the devil... This vacuum was the first Eureka of its time to feature these nice, long, straight, flow-through plastic tubes, which basically this was Eureka's airspeed technology before the airspeed name was even thought of. Which I think is quite amazing. I think it was also the first vacuum of this time to feature the suction diverter valve, so basically you could switch there and all the suction will go through your hose, switch back and it'll all go through to your floor. And what? Anyway, down here you have your nine position carpet height adjustment, which to me is quite crazy. You have lots of carpet height adjustments to choose from. Right here is the brush roll control. Just Flip that back and it'll lock in place so you can use your, this thing on hard floors. So it'll prevent the brush roll from spinning. So right here, it says the only sealed HEPA system. That's not true. Maybe it's the, this is the only sealed HEPA system that was made for Eureka. But it captures dirt. Others don't for cleaner indoor air. There are a lot of other vacuums, I bet you, with sealed HEPA filtration, but this was probably the first Eureka to actually develop a sealed system. The filter is kind of trapped in there. But anyway, this is what the filter looks like. You see, most uh, of the stuff that is trapped on this filter is more likely than not just carbon from the motor. But this thing has quite good filtration for a cheap vacuum of this time. I think these things only retailed for like a little less than $130 brand new. So in my opinion, for how much these sold when they were new, you get quite a bit of bang for your buck. These things are very powerful. The agitation is amazing and, and the airflow that this thing makes for a clean air based vacuum is fantastic. 
I mean, I think performance-wise, this thing would be on par with the Hoover Wind Tunnel of that time. And the bag compartment, let me go ahead and show that. It takes Eureka Type Double R bags. And it's actually held in by this little clip right here. Just release that, then pop your bag down and slide out to change your bag. And put it back in, make sure the the the, the right side is, lo is lined up with that notch. And then you pull the tab and then it'll lock in place. A little bit flimsy in design, but this is definitely a true top fill design. And down here you do have your 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 pre-motor filter. Let's see if I can gain access to it. It is a little bit dirty. This thing has seen quite a bit of use. And I'm not too sure if the previous owners ran this thing with no bag, but I might need to get a new pre-motor filter for this thing one of this day, one of these days, but for the time being it it actually works pretty good. Make sure I'm not putting this thing on backwards. I will admit, build quality for this may not have been the best compared to other vacuums like the Hoovers, which I I still believe to this day that Hoovers make Hoover makes the best budget department store vacuum. But this Eureka was very good in its day. I will admit that. So anyway, right up here is your power switch. This was before Eureka decided to flip around the power switch for later models. You can see up is on and down is off. And on the older one, on the newer versions, I should say, down is on, up is off, which I'm still trying to get used to that switch or this switch orientation because the turquoise one my parents had, had the flipped around power switch, but it's not a huge deal. Now, I would like to point out None of the attachments on this are original. In fact, it actually came with no attachments when I got it from the local Goodwill. So right up top here, you do have your upholstery brush. I do like these little brushes on, on the back of the upholstery brush. You do have your little dusting brush right here. And I did pull these off of other Boss Smart Vacs of the time, the, at least the ones that were donated for parts. And back here you do have your crevice tool. And right up top here, and I might need to figure this out one of these days, but right here, what's supposed to be two extension wands built in. The other extension wand's supposed to be going right up here. What this actually gave me was a much longer crevice tool, which I'm personally fine with it. You can have your choice between a shorter crevice tool or a longer one. And this is the, the extension tube that came with it. But it works for the time being, at least it dresses up the vacuum. Pretty soon, one of these days, I'm going to try tracking down the double extension wands that this originally came with. And right here is, is your hose. And I know I kind of wrapped it around this cord hook. The hose is nice and flexible. Let me see if I can show you how long this thing is. Yeah, fortunately, it isn't really the longest, but, but it works very good. And, and the suction from this hose is very incredible. And the one nice thing these things have is this little suction diverter valve, which basically if you switch to hose, it'll 
put all the suction going through the hose, switch it back to floor, and everything will go to the head of the vacuum. So with that said, let's go ahead and release the cord here. It has a fairly long cord. I'm not too sure the length of it, but I want to say it's in about the 30 foot range. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug this in. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this thing on and demo it for you guys. And you can hear how smooth it runs.
one nice little trick I learned from owning a few Panasonics is put the switch to bare floor to shut the brush roll off while you're using your tools so that way the, the brush roll spinning doesn't put a big load on the motor. It's just one nice little thing to help out the suction. And with, speaking of suction, this thing is actually very powerful. So you practically almost sucks the hose back in. And then let's go ahead and show your tools. Here's your upholstery uh, tools, uh, the dusting brush, excuse me. Here's your crevice tool. And right here we have your two big extension wands. side hooks in and then you can also hook your crevice tool up like that so have a, you have a nice long extendable reach does run pretty smooth the only amount of noise this thing makes is mostly coming from the brush roll and which speak to the devil I don't know why I didn't show you this thing in the first place there is the brush roll this is a wooden brush roll as you can see right here for whatever reason it's just painted gray it does have nice stiff nylon bristles which is probably the reason why this thing has good agitation to begin with. Looks like I might need to get a replacement here soon. All the bristles are worn down because I had to pick a lot of hair out of this thing. With all the noise the thing's making, it's probably asking for a new brush roll one of these days. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video of the Eureka the Boss Smart Vac. Be sure and stay tuned, and don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.